Welcome back to Chicken Cindy's. Today we're in the coop and we're going to talk about the booty upgrade on the Sledge X1. So, by booty upgrade, I mean, of course, the rear end of this bike. Uh, we're going to talk about the drivetrain I chose, the rear wheel I chose, and the tire I chose. Go into a little bit of detail over why I did that, but I did want to start with the eBay link is up for the Chicken Cindy's stickers. I am going to have that in the description of this video, and Jay Wolf was the very first one to purchase some stickers, so I'm super stoked that the support's coming through, and thank you so, so very much, Jay Wolf, and I'm getting ready to drop this bad boy off in the mail, so hopefully you'll get it real soon. So we're going to do a little, little pip action again, or pitcher in pitcher, and uh, I wanted to start with the Dior crank set. So as you can see, I measured the bottom bracket, so you'll see that on the screen here in just a minute. Just you know the size of it on the Ledge X1. And if you did check out Kev Essentials video, you did see that the Ledge X2 frame is the exact same size as the Ledge X1. So I did do an earlier video of putting the 29ers on this bike and they fit no problem. Uh, I did do 29.26. I believe the stock on the Ledge X2 is actually 29 by 2.2. I could be wrong there. 2.6 fit, but it was definitely a tight fit. So I think 2.4s would be about perfect if you're wanting to go 29er on the X1, which now we know is the same frame size. So that's good to know. So went with the Advent X drivetrain. You'll see that the Advent X derailleur is absolutely terrific. Uh, I love it. It does great. I have it on three bikes now. It's got some really cool ratcheting for the actual clutch. So there it's off. Then you turn it on. So it's just kind of neat. The rear wheel tire I went with was a Continental Trail King. I actually did Trail King front and back. And if you're looking really close at this bike, you'll see that the front's a 29 now and the rear's a 27.5. There will be a special video over that and why I chose that. But uh, this bad boy is a mullet and uh, I'm absolutely loving the mullet. I got a orange tubeless valve. I did set this up tubeless front and back. Uh, the actual wheel set I went with in the rear is a Nuke Proof Horizon. Uh, so the engagement on this is insane. You know me in loud hubs. I love me some loud hubs. Uh, getting this thing set up tubeless, super, super easy. Not a single issue there. Uh, Advent X rear cassette. I think the 10 by one in the Advent X is a terrific range. Um, on the other two bikes I have it on, it's performed flawlessly. So that is why I just keep going with Advent X. I just really think it's hard to beat. So did that for the rear. And of course, with the actual rear wheel, if you're wanting to do some form of Hyperglide or Shimano styled cassette, you will have to upgrade your rear wheel or even just your hub. I went with a very cool oil slick chain. Got this chain off of Amazon. It was $35, I believe. Plenty of links uh, extra for this, the sizing wise and everything. Um, it just seems like a super nice chain. And I thought for the price, it was kind of hard to beat. And I wanted to get a little oil slick on this bike because you have the teal and orange. So I think it goes really, really well with this bike. You have the Advent X shifter, of course, to go with the drivetrain suite. So I threw that on. And then of course, that ties it all in together. You can see the shifting and it shifts it really, really well. So that is the rear drivetrain in a nutshell. And I just think Advent X is terrific. I think Dior is terrific. Uh, I, you know, if, if you get into expensive wheel sets, this Horizon actually is a really good price for what you get compared to like Hydra i9s and things like that, which are very top high-end wheel sets. So this is a good middle, uh, middle ground wheel set. But uh, I did a little poll, and this bike is going to be going head to head with actually my uh, my Vita Smithique. So I wanted to do a couple upgrades on this bike that are going to put it more into that category, and then we're going to break down the prices of them and see what this is actually running me price wise, and what that one's going to run price wise, and how they both ride. And I'm going to get other people on the bikes as well. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. But other than that, this Ledge X1 project is officially done. Uh, I'm entirely done upgrading it. Uh, videos will be coming out for it here soon as we're doing different things. So please keep that in mind and just know that this bike is terrific. And I've been very, very impressed with it so far. And these upgrades have just made it that much better. So any questions over this bike, please put them down in the comments. But other than that, 
Thank you so, so very much for tuning in. And until next time, everybody take care.